by Michelle Ruiz, and I'm here with Linda Caballero Sotelo, who has a company, she's president and COO of Toltec Media, a marketing company, and she and I have met today because we actually just did a session together about um, technology for entrepreneurs, and so I wanted to chat with her for a few minutes and have her share with us some marketing tips for uh, small business owners, entrepreneurs just mm -hmm. starting out, because that's what you do, right? That's right. So what would you say are the top two or three uh, tips that you can give? I would say that depending on how your budget is, but the first thing you want to make sure is that you have an online presence. And it doesn't have to cost like it used to to have a whole website developed. It can be something very simple, but you want to make sure that it's interactive. And there's uh, systems out there that allow you to update and post your own content. You can also utilize social media for that purpose. So it doesn't have to take a big chunk out of your budget to start off, but you definitely have to make it a priority to have an online presence. You know, it's funny because I read a quote just recently that said, before a person ever returns your call, or mm -hmm. before they'll ever agree to meet you, they already know about you. Yes, because they do. The, as soon as you've left a message or they've seen your name, what do they do? They go into Google. Right, they check you out. They check you out, right? And so they look at your social media profiles, mm -hmm. a website if you have one, and if you do or you don't, that also says something about you or your company, et cetera, right? So I think that really supports the fact that you really do need an online presence. You know, it, it, that and also the fact that it's different times, you know, you're really your own brand. And as your brand, you have to manage your brand. So you have the presence for your business, but you also have your personal brand of who you are. So Michelle Reese, right? Well, evoke some thoughts to people about who you are, they'll look you up. So you want to make sure that what they're learning about you and what you do is exactly what they, you want them to be thinking about you. So you want to make sure that you put the message out there and that the story isn't told about you externally. And that's by others, nowadays. that you by can't others. control. Right, right, right. And right. it happens, you know, because you're involved in so many things. So you want to make sure that you manage that. There's right. so much information out there about everyone. So you want to monitor and you want to manage that. And so you want to treat your, your brand of Michelle Ruiz in many ways, it's a commodity, separate also from the actual business presence where someone may not necessarily want to hear about you, but they want to know about your services. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure you manage both of them mm -hmm. simultaneously and you can do it. Again, it's not prohibitive cost-wise anymore and you can do it yourself. It's a good point. Mm. And there, in terms of websites, if you're, if you're if budget is a consideration, who, who doesn't have considerations right. for budget, right? But in particular, you can buy some turnkey solutions, totally. right? And and even, I think, uh, your your hosting platforms exactly. offer them, right? For very minimal cost. For, for you just very plug little. in key information if you don't have the resources to, to create something that's more elaborate, right? I think one point I want to make about that is you have to decide. Elaborate, I should say. <laughs> one thing you have to decide is whether you want a, um, the first view about you to be something static, informational, or if you want it to be something interactive. So that's the first thing, just think about that on a basic level. Say, you know, I just want a basic page, like you mentioned, turnkey, you know, maybe WordPress where you can update the information yourself, and it's just who we are, what we do, contact information. So mm -hmm. if that's the minimum you want, that's fine. If you want something more interactive where you have a brand and you have uh, special skills or a knowledge or subject matter expertise like yourself, mm -hmm. then you want to do a little bit more than that. You want to integrate it with your social media, your Facebook account and all these things. And again, it's not that difficult. Try it. Just try it. And if you find that someone else can do that, one of the things that I tell startup businesses in particular is that, you know, you can partner services with other, with other business owners. You know, I, I've done that. I've done that. So it totally works, yeah. right? Yeah, so absolutely. they'll say, you know, I'll do this, I'll look over these documents for you. If it's an attorney, I'll review right. your contracts. You know, will you do this for me? Will you do my bio and set up my PR campaign or whatever it yeah. is? So you can trade some of those services. And, and it's just a matter of sitting down and being very clear on what your business is, your business plan, and mm -hmm. kind of the steps to do that. Mm -hmm. Terrific. Thank you. You're very welcome.